Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'm going to show you and try to teach you as much as possible why do we need ALR, ambient light projection screen, even in the pitch black kind of lights out room. When the lights are off, we think that we don't need ALR screen. Yes, basically that's the truth. The most important part of the ALR is ambient light room like this. Right now, this is an extreme environment for the light setup. And if you know my videos, this is like a properly product shooting kind of light, light around here, about 700 lux of light. And wh when I open, by the way, the ALR screen, the first difference will be extreme contrast difference, of course, because the wall is properly white and reflects everything. And the ALR screen just kills it with the huge amount of contrast. But that's not I'm going to show you. Let me just close all the lights. Because after closing every light in this room, we all know the ALR will create good picture in a highly lit room, extremely lit room, which you probably won't watch your TV with that light on. And if I close the first light, this is, by the way, a book readable light. Right now you can easily read books, but camera is adjusted for the screen. So that's why you're seeing this room kind of like a dark, but I am seeing this furniture as a white. By the way, this furniture, I put small tables very close to the TV unit. Everything is white, walls are white, ceiling is white, so it's not also ideal. This is a living room, so normally light bounce back. What you're about to see, when I close everything, I will open up two videos and we will compare it with the ALR in the darkness. So you'll be following my voice. Right now, I've closed every kind of light in the room. This is a pitch black proper room. But actual problem is we don't see this perfect black on the wall. As you can see probably shadow at the back of my hands because projector has to send some light to the screen. And the second thing is lights are coming bouncing back from the wall. Right now the uh, side windows and the curtains and between the 130 inch style screen, I only have one meter or maybe even less distance. And from the ceiling up top, I don't have any space at all. So everything will be reflect from the ceiling, white ceiling and bounce back. That's one of the problems. To show you more clearly, I will open up a video from LG demo. This is properly white and you're seeing me and you, you don't see high ends not proper blacks. What I'm about to do, I will play the same video and also I will try to play some blacks too with the ALR screen on and off. By the way, we are seeing good amount of black, but not exactly. When I open it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So keep this in mind. I will go back and open up the ALR screen. Let's just start. It takes, takes about 20 seconds, but see the difference in even in the dark. Just look at the blacks, how much black difference around the colors when they're going from this box. As you can see, blacks right now, proper blacks. This is like a TV level of black. The difference is huge because no bouncing light can affect this screen. It becomes just like a TV. So that's how it is. That's what I want to show you. By the way, I will sh uh, shoot another video just like this. This, this is, sorry, this is one of the most black videos from LG demos again. And we are going to use it Vivid Storm ALR screen. Right now you're seeing Vivid Storm ALR ambient light rejection. 92 inch screen and the blacks are properly black. I can easily tell even from these angles. So what I'm about to do, put the curtain down and see how it goes. Are you ready? Because I know the results. Let's just wait a while. 
pretty good, right? Yeah, sorry about that, my hand. Look at this, blacks. This scene will be repeated. Just keep that in mind. You can go back and forth in this video. The camera settings is fixed. So you, what you see is the same camera settings. Uh, it's not auto-exposuring, the manual exposure. So you will see the difference between open and closed settings. Look at this honey. Look at this glass. Everything feels much more contrasted. I will hit the start button again because these areas are important. Let me just go back and hit the screen down button. Meanwhile, you will see the transaction between these two. And let's just stop it at the blow to show you the difference. I know the screen size are not the same. But screen size will affect, of course, the brightness levels. But the black level is the problem here. As you can see, brighter the image is as a scene, like this scene has high brightness levels. And you see definitely light coming from the ceiling and bouncing back, coming from the ball, bouncing back, and from the ground, bouncing back. You're not seeing the same black levels. So this is not just about the a lighted room setup. This is for everything. Let me just show you again, right? Lights are on, basically. Of course, ambient light rejection means most of the time when the lights are on, when in the daylight. But we don't think about the shadows. We don't think about the dark room picture quality. If you have dark walls that you created a man cave or not reflecting like darker gray, untrusted kind of like a dark colors, then there is no problem. Of course, ambient light rejection creates proper blacks in the lighted room. That's, that's a fact. We all know this, the difference between the screen with, with the Vivid Storm ALR or without it. That's obvious, but where it really shines also, if I close one light, this is a proper loom room right now proper lighted room and we have the tv and if i close the second light and make it a dark room no bouncing light affects the picture quality so that's how this thing actually work so in this video i just wanted to teach you that uh, not just for the vivid storm alr screen but professional ALR screens in general creates much more better blacks even in the darkest rooms. So you're not just buying these ALR screens for the lighted room setups, but also they will affect very much the sharpness and the contrast overall in the long run. So if you're going to invest to an ALR screen, don't forget about it it worth the money that you probably pay to these devices. This is 1,600 ANSI lumens of entry level, one of the entry level 4Ks, and it is even creating pretty much good contrasted image with the Vividstorm ALR. And without it, you'll see the results. Only in the darkroom setup, it could go. But even in the pretty much pitch black room, you can't get the best black without an ALR screen. So I just wanted to show you that. I hope you learned from this video and I hope you uh, find something useful. Feel free to ask anything you like. And if you want to learn, if you want to see a tutorial, just ask, uh, ask at the comment section below. These things are not cheap. So I am showing you these differences to make you understand, is it worth your money or is it going to be the direction that you're going to choose. I've got rid of my TV. I've sold it uh, to a friend. So I'm. am I happy with the result? I am quite happy with the result. And I'm going to probably install the cables and finish the installation. You'll see the difference uh, between over time, how the setup, how setup can be clean as much as possible with good speakers, with a pair of speakers. So you will understand how much it will cost in total. And you can also buy secondhand projectors. I'm always telling that. 
you don't have to buy a first hand. If you have a good screen like this Vividstorm ALR, professional ALR level, you can get away with the mid-level quality projectors. Even in the full HD series, you will be happy with the results because when you catch the blacks, when you catch the contrast, if you have a good projector, then you're good to go. I hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech Review. Bye.